this is Chuchu. Welcome to my channel. Now, um, what I wanted to do is sort of uh, do a little intro to the next uh, three videos coming up. Uh, as you know, I've um, I mentioned that um, I'm basically shifting gears and going uh, towards putting together some math videos for the language of mathematics and math in real life. And uh, I sort of went out and um, uh, you know, I went through my notes and uh, I've over organized a few videos uh, to do sort of get the ball rolling on this and get the momentum going on this. And uh, I went went out and uh, did a video, um, but it uh, it wasn't perfect. Um, it wasn't. Uh, it didn't get across all the ideas I wanted to get across, and it didn't jump from. Uh, the one thought to the next thought, right? Uh, so I can definitely do better. And if you've watched some of my math videos, uh, um, some of them are the second take or the third take uh, that I do. As I, as I mentioned once before, that if I, you know, if I get across about eighty percent of what I want to get across, um, then I consider the video to be done. If it's less than eighty percent, uh, I go and do a reshoot. Um, so, you know, I shot that video, edited it, rethought about, you know, thought about it and um, sort of uh, reorganized uh, the thought process so uh, the jump from one video to the next is going to be smoother, okay. And while I was doing that, I decided uh, to, um, uh, to put together uh, some additional videos for the Q&A for In Conversation with Chicho. Uh, there was a a couple of uh, promises that I made uh, uh, to people that had commented that I was going to make videos for their questions or or comments and uh, one video I ended up making um, in direct response to some of the comments I've been getting okay so the video that uh, you see I guess I'm gonna put it right here the mathematics um, you know I'm gonna I'm annotating this uh, I'll annotate it uh, but it won't be live until I go and do a reshoot and that's going to be after um, I guess it's the fourth video coming up uh, after the this three is done okay so the intro to the next three videos so what are the next three videos about um, one of them is uh, going to be a little sort of me talking about uh, my life as a geophysicist because um, there was one person or two people I can't remember uh, that uh, wanted to know a little bit about uh, what was involved in ge doing geophysics and I loved uh, I loved being a geophysicist I loved working as a geophysicist in the 1990s um, it was fantastic it gave me the opportunity uh, to go out in nature and also deal with a lot of high-tech equipment and a lot of programs and um, share a lot of new ideas. My bachelor's thesis was actually even published at SAGIP, um, which was a rare occasion for a bachelor's thesis to be published at SAGIP, right? I was even invited to go do a presentation, but um, I was young and had a lot of things on my plate. I was working, trying to get my thesis done at the same time and, um, and whatnot, finish it off anyway, do the defense for it. So um, it, it was an amazing experience. It gave me the opportunity to basically spend half of my time in the field uh, in nature, in raw nature, right? You know, there's times where we're doing field work where bears would come up to us, right? Um, and the other half of the time I was in the office working with pretty high-tech equipment and um, high-end equipment, expensive equipment, and pretty um, intense software where at the time, you know, computer speed was, uh, wasn't that phenomenal, right? We were working with 286s, 386s, and you know, if we're doing processing the data, and we collect lots of data. Uh, sometimes we run batch files on Fridays and come back on Monday. Hopefully it all worked out fine, right? Sometimes pop in on the weekends and check it out, make sure the program's running fine, right? Uh, so one of the videos coming up is going to be sort of um, me going off on a rant on uh, geophysics. Okay. Uh, the second video coming up is um, sort of in direct response to a lot of comments um, and a lot of personal emails. Uh, some comments but a lot of personal emails I've gotten from people uh, since I started doing the ASMR work and um, basically what that entails some of the comments and I've been getting is basically on the level of you know people are able to calm down relax uh, they've been able to get a good night's sleep 
and um, some of the comments which have been amazing for me because uh, I'm more nature oriented than pharmaceutical oriented uh, people have been telling me that they've reduced their use of pharmaceuticals um, because the videos achieve that for them right could they calm them down and uh, relax and they can uh, filter out the noise from the world right and that's that's amazing to me that's one of the main um, sort of catalyst main reasons that I've really jumped onto the ASMR um, community and decided to create a lot of content for this community right um, because I think that improves the world right and um, within those messages that I've been getting um, people have commented that um, um, they've gone through some hard times um, and uh, that could be some of the reasons why they've been using pharmaceuticals that could be some of the reasons why they haven't been in good night's sleep and uh, the world has been stressing them out and whatnot and um, you know I've replied to some of the people uh, directly some people have told me specifically you know what's been ailing them um, you know the hard times they've been going through and um, some people have been more general just thinking and just saying that they've been going through hard times and stuff like this so I'm not going to assume what the hard times is that people have been going through but the second video coming up is just me sharing um, some of the hard times that I went through and the reason I'm doing this is because um, I, I want to show you that um, there's light at the end of the tunnel okay uh, there's beauty at the end of the tunnel um, when you get knocked down when you're able to pick yourself up um, you are stronger if not physically and mentally okay so and you have to sort of continue with that process and what I'm going to do in the next video coming up is basically read um, a post that I made on my site um, I believe it was in 2009 maybe um, so I'm gonna read you a post um, an article that I wrote or um, well, I'm gonna call the post that I made on my blog and this sort of share some of the hard times that I went through and how I came out of it and the lessons that I learned and that post that article is basically a comment I made on a forum where someone had posted there were you know something hard had hit them and you know they needed some advice and um, in the morning when I got up and I was doing my surfing checking my news and just checking some of the sources that I have um, getting my daily dose of information I guess I came across this post so I wasn't really prepared um, to deal with such a thing but because the person was uh, reaching out I decided to uh, reply to this to this comment and um, it was well received and there were a few people that sent me uh, personal messages thanking me for that because it helped them out because they were going through the same type of stuff um, so that's what I'm going to read for you in the second video okay and um, in the third video um, I've been getting comments uh, requests um, to provide my take on the US elections um, specifically regarding Hillary and Trump and um, you know this has come up I don't know a handful of times and I'm assuming it's going to come up more uh, as the election nears so I decided to put together a video um, to give you my perspective on the US elections um, sort of politics and economics right and you can't really separate them and sort of join together right so the third video coming up it's is a video sort of a minor rant um, on the US elections which is really related to politics and economics and you can't really separate politics and economics it's one thing one system right politics does not exist without economics and economics does not exist without politics it's very much like science where 
time does not exist separately than space and space does not exist exist without time there's only one thing called space time right so politics and economics works the same way and uh, sort of it's sort of a minor rant of me giving you as basically as i can my perspective on the u.s elections politics and economics and uh, trump and hillary and um, if you've been following my blog you'll know that uh, i've um, put out a lot of articles on politics and economics so if you want to know more um, with referenced information because i spent a lot of years a lot of time putting that stuff together um, because people would constantly ask me what my take was on it so I got tired of regurgitating the information uh, on, on a personal basis if we're, you know, was sitting around with friends and stuff like this. So I decided to put together that information and reference everything. So over the years, as slowly when people asked me what my take was on it, I would just direct them towards my article with all the reference material. That way I didn't have to uh, spend any um, extra energy, memory space in my brain holding on to certain information, right? Uh, so if you're interested in my take on politics and economics um, aside from that video you can definitely go to my blog and the top post that I have for politics is sort of a post that I put together I think like three years ago or so where I decided to stop writing about politics and economics because um, it had become obvious what was planned for the future right because all you have to do is sort of to know what's going on with politics is look at economics Right, because all the charts all the data really tell you what's happening so I sort of put up an article and I think in the last paragraph or second last paragraph I mentioned that this was going to be the last major article that I write on politics because I wasn't interested in um, covering the day-to-day -day carnage that was about to happen right and that was I think I put that on 2000 and late 2013 or 2014 okay and um, for those of you uh, who are following me for comic books, mathematics, or ASMR, um, you know, the mathematics definitely, the, the first video coming up, the geophysics, there's a lot of mathematics involved with geophysics, so that might interest you. Um, it's sort of um, just going off on a rant. Uh, the, the one about uh, just giving advice and stuff like this, um, it's going to be calm maybe you will find it useful um especially you know, for the asmr community that's following me uh following my channel uh checking out my work uh but the politics one if you're interested in mathematics um i will be approaching um the politics um aspect of our lives right through economics so i will be creating a whole playlist whole series of talking about economics and looking at data looking at charts looking at indicators so there's a math series coming up sometime in the future regarding politics and economics um, for comic books this is not really going to affect you um, the politics video that's coming up in the third video um, even though poly comic books have been used for propaganda a lot throughout history this is which is one of the main reasons that i collect comic books um, because i like i like the chronological aspect of the human artifact of seeing how uh propaganda has progressed and storytelling has progressed and subversive information has progressed throughout history right um so those of you who are following me uh, for asmr for comic books for mathematics um you might want to skip the third video because it's um when it comes to politics and economics I'm really direct, um, as direct as I can be uh, when it comes to my perspective, because I don't think we can really hold back and be politically correct and minced words um, with um, what's being done in our name. Okay, so it's a pretty harsh little uh, video. Um, so warning goes out. Uh, watch uh, with caution. Okay, and then after these three videos are out, um, what we'll end up doing is uh, uh, getting back to the mathematics because by that time I would have had time to go out and find some brand new walls and uh, continue with our work that we're doing for uh, 
series four for the language of mathematics and um, math and real life videos right and um, by that time we'll i should be in a pretty good uh, sort of uh, momentum going with that work um putting the stuff together okay i hope you enjoy uh, the next year videos coming up and definitely the mathematics uh coming up after that okay that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video